Objective Charlie. Yeah, it, it, it is funny. <laughs> ah. Hello, one own. <laughs> Move your fat ass. I didn't think you were that fat. You said you were working out. Yeah, well, you go the wrong way. You know? Who? Dirty. Clean your dirty gun. This gun is so dirty. Hi guys, this is Matthias, and yeah, I guess I have to agree with that. There are a lot of things that speaks for the SMG weight. As long as you can handle it, which isn't all that complicated to be fair, but for the most part, it's about being in the right position, meaning you want your enemies close up and personal, preferably surprising them from a flanking position where you can mow down a big group of enemies as you take advantage of this unusually big magazine of this recently changed SMG. Don't shoot me with friends! So far, I've used the factory version a little bit more than the optical. For whatever reason, I feel like I'm doing better with it. I'm not entirely sure why. When I look at the stats on Simtech, I feel like I should be doing just as good with the optical as with the factory. But that, so far, hasn't been the case. There's more. There's one more. I killed two, but there's one more. So now with every weapon that I use consistently, I always try to find ways to make it as versatile as possible. With SMGs made for close range, I try to give them as much range as possible. And if you've tried the same, you've probably noticed that this weapon suffers a lot at medium range or more. Wow, 10 meters and <laughs> you can't do shit with this SMG weight. No, you have to burst fire. So, is it really that bad at medium range? Actually, yeah. This gun is a close range gun, and even though some of the weapons have been changed in recent patches, I have felt that both with the automatic trench and with the MP18 trench, I have done better at medium range than I feel like I'm doing with this gun at the moment. Now the MP18 is not all that good at range anymore, and unfortunately I can't speak for the Automatico because I haven't used it in quite a while. But if you are the kind of player that wants to challenge yourself a bit and use this weapon outside of its intended purpose, I do have a few examples of it in this video, and hopefully that will help you out if you haven't figured it out already. Oh, they have two tanks on C. I'll shoot one, okay, ricochet, of course. So now, I'm pretty sure that the SMG-08 stirs up uh, similar emotions that a lot of other weapons of the assault class does in Battlefield 1. Just like with the Hellregal, the Automaticos, and the Model 10A Hunter, this weapon has probably already received quite a lot of hate, and I'm expecting there to be a bit more. Now the fact of the matter is that I don't do particularly much better with this weapon compared to a lot of the other weapons that I use on regular basis for the other classes. I went 78 and 14 I think on Argonne Forest not long ago, that video is coming soon, and this was during a round when we decided to go only Fedorov in our squad. And this is just one of many examples that I could bring up. What? What? Oh shit. I could not strafe anymore. Oh yeah, 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 it happens to me sometimes. Sometimes I can't walk forward. I have to tap have several times before I can move forward. Oh, how many snipers do they have above D? Holy crap. Yeah, a lot. Wow. Okay, at the range this weapon sucks, but... Oh, 
Oh yeah, through the fire and everything. Okay. They're on spawns on me. Hide. Oh, whoa, whoa. Spawn there. No. Oh my god! <laughs> where's the armored car now? When <laughs> yeah, where's an armored car when you need one? Oh, there's that a... Out there. Oh, behind. So long, I hit it, I hit it several times. Just, uh, it's 17, it's 17. Nice. Best revive ever. Are you going for the from the spawn? What? The guy went on me by crawling. We are losing <laughs> oh, what? One more. Oh, he was in there. And he revives everyone now. <laughs> oh, dead though. Of this guy. Then kill him until he dies. <clears throat> No! Coming, coming. I tossed one inside. Is a guy here somewhere? Shit, they know where I am. Oh wow, you're right, you really gotta work on the recoil. On this weapon, yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to be, you have to control it and... And uh, burst fire is pretty good. Careful, there's a lot up here. We have taken objective butter. Objective You're welcome, tank. Snipes again. Yeah, it's a bit harder to fly on Amien. Yeah.
Were you able to switch, I know? Oh yeah, no. There it is! <laughs> yeah, the only guy I see. <laughs> I switched him off. <laughs> we haven't got any points. Come on, unknown, fly over me. No. Oh. I'm even hurt now, you can kill me easy. Easily. No, oh, leave me alone, sentry. Oh. Alright, this is a gamble. Kill him. What? Uh, took ages to turn. No kill? Nope. Ooh, it's dying. Oh, behind. To and spot the planes for 17 on tank. Weapon disabled. A sentry kit is available near your location. Ah. No! Can you blow up this trip while Matthias? Huh? Don't worry. Oh shit! One more! Behind me! Oh, can you get me? Nice!
Blanche is pushing up here, Matty. Yeah. Ah, oh, he got me. I get you, I get you. Hmm. We have taken objective apples. We got fire on the tank. Oh, you got it. <laughs> yeah. We got a tank up there, by the sense. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good call. Moving your aim. Is there anyone shooting these planes? <clears throat> Where did this guy come? Oh my god, he spawned on his teammate that was on the fire. Game, please! He got me with a knife. Oh, come on! Always shot from somewhere else. He's in a bunker uh, on top of him. Go anywhere near. I need help in taking out the tank. Ammo would be nice. I'm out. I damaged it, but I, I can't kill it. I'm gonna help. He's really low though. He's abled. Destroyed. Yeah, nice. Lately I've been using the mortar to kill tanks. It's not too bad. It's a good additional addition to when you're already when it's already damaged. I love the 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 argument people makes like yeah, but you play this game all the time, then you have your, got your madness value and you can't say that it's bad because you play it all the time. It's like, yeah, but the reason why we play this is because dice have monopoly on these type of games. So if you want to play this type of a game, you don't have much to choose from. It's like saying, imagine you have to take the bus to your work every day and the bus is late twice every week. You still take the bus, and you still get to work, and people people would st could use the same argument. Yeah, but uh, you take the bus every day, uh, you get your money's worth, uh, it's no problem, why are you complaining? It's like, yeah, but that's the only way there.